nice house just coming up three bedroom one and a half bath in north county I'm trying to beat the rain but the rain can't stop my shine one car garage attached let's take a quick look inside 9472 York Town Drive. 631, I believe it's 37. Pardon the mess, but uh, we might have some of this gone by the time it's time to get rid of this house. But looks like a pretty good house overall. Just got a lot of stuff in it. If you can see past the stuff, you'll see nothing but goodness. House looks pretty sturdy. No water getting inside from what I can tell. Long living room. Here's the kitchen. Just had a estate sale in here recently, so. Nice kitchen. The oven would go there. dishwasher from the 1980s but before I go that way let's take a quick look in this uh, garage the one car garage so if you can see past the stuff you'll see some good stuff One car attached garage. Oh, that's the basement. We'll go down there in a second. Got a nice little half bath up here. And this looks like it was used as an office, but it's probably some type of a dining room of some type with that chandelier. Little chandelier. That was used as a bedroom, even though it's a living room. Some kind of fireplace back there. Big living room. Had a bed in here. They were using this as a bedroom. Even though this house already has three full beds, one and a half bath, they made another bedroom in here. But that's another front door. So it's got two front doors on this house for some reason. Trying to make it like a duplex. I wanted to one of the bedrooms here. As you know, we're going to always have stuff in every room. So just be prepared for that. Stuff in every room. Clothes, furniture, debris, stuff. That's one room. Got this blue carpet in here. And that uh, ceiling fan. Same thing over here. Wallpaper. There's a little closet over here. Yep, little closet. And two wardrobes to make sure you got stuff, space for stuff. Then we got another bedroom back here. It's the third bedroom. Can't get that light to come on for some reason. But this is what it looks like if you got night vision. Blue carpet throughout. Look like a sleeper sofa or something there. Here's the uh, main bathroom. Seems to be functional, but who knows? Just giving you an overview of the property as it sits right now. Tub, shower, I guess there's a shower back in there. Yep, got a nice shower head, look at that. I'll be, that's better than mine at home. But yep, this is what it looks like. 
back down the hallway, you got a couple closets out here. Closet over here, closet over here to store your towels and things. And now we're gonna go check out the basement. This house is gonna be sold on a rent to own lease option. If you're looking for a three bedroom, one and a half bath with attached garage, this is probably the place you're looking for. I'm gonna run downstairs real quick after I look out the back door. That's what the backyard looks like. It's got a smaller fenced in area and then another space on it outside of there. But it's kind of raining, so I don't really want to get out of there. Fenced all the way, well, mostly all the way around, I guess. And let's see what we got downstairs real quick. 9472 Yorktown. Got a huge basement. Huge. You can put more space down here, not officially, but you could actually have some living space down here. This seems to be the, uh, I guess what you would call the finished side. And then this is supposed to be the unfinished side. And like I say, it's plenty of stuff. Ain't no shortage on stuff. Electrical panel. There is a horizontal crack right there going across this back wall. Washer dryer hooked up. Um, you got a, looks to be a newer furnace. Looks to be. What's this, another closet area? Yep, more closet space. So, off summer, 35% winter, whatever, something like nice big hot water heater looks to be newer as well so this house has been uh, cared for a lot of ways been a lot of ways it's just been too much stuff as like most of them we come across everybody got too much stuff but if there's something you may be interested in 9472 yorktown up in uh bell fountain neighbors this is the one not sure if it's the one for you but it could be a down payment is required to move into any of our properties we're gonna uh, we're planning on getting most of this cleaned out, if not all of it. We'll see. We'll see what the marketplace says. Somebody might want it with the stuff. You never know. So, like I said, here's here's the house. If it's something you're interested in, 314-334-1411. That's the number to call. And this is the property. Bell Fountain Neighbors on a nice little quiet street. Double sink. You can do some dishes right here while you look out in the other people's backyard. Look at that view. All for you. It's your chance to dance. <laughs> 